Before the other new world order, Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFF report. Now, I told y'all yesterday that Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, was actually arrested by British police out in the Ecuadorian embassy. Now, with this happening, this actually opens him up to being possibly extradited to the United States. And the United States wants his head. Now, let me give y'all a, a little bit of background. Um, Julian Assange founded WikiLeaks. And WikiLeaks is... Has, uh, is responsible for leaking a lot of information that exposes the United States government in nefarious ways, things that they do in secret and that actually could potentially harm American people, showing off their war crimes up in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and other places or whatever, like very revealing. So he's obviously an en enemy of the state, but uh, his his pro his lawyers fight that, you know what I mean? This is really just journalism. So for to, to bring him into the US, it's possibly a war on free press. And he's actually, they're actually worried that he'll be tortured when he get, when he got here. As he was, uh, as soon as he was arrested, um, the U.S. actually unsealed document, uh, an indictment sh showing that he conspired, or saying that he conspired with Chelsea Manning, who is currently locked up and just got out of um, solitary confinement. Green Wall and graduate. We'll go to Bishop Grady Lane over the fuck going on for this BFF report. I thought this was an interesting twist, and it'll put some things in perspective, possibly. Former president of Ecuador, Rafael. Correa actually accused current Ecuadorian president Lenin Moreno of being a traitor. Actually said he's the greatest traitor in Ecuadorian and Latin American history for allowing the British police to go into the Ecuadorian embassy in London and arrest Julian Assange. So uh, he also labeled him a corrupt man. So it's it's hard to see why it's hard to know from here why he would say that, but it is understood that. Um, the United States wanted him and this could possibly have been in a deal set between Ecuador and the United States uh, that's kind of I feel like what that suggests but nevertheless um, the US is hoping that uh, Julian Assange gets extradited to the US and they're worried that he'll be tortured you know what I mean when I say they I'm talking about Julian Assange's lawyers and you know the free press because this is definitely a freedom of press uh, issue Green War on graduation. What the other new world order, Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report? Hey, yo, this dude, uh, Donald J. Trump, disgusts me, man. But more lying coming from him, you know what I mean? Now, in the midst of all of this thing, everything happening with Julian Assange being arrested, mind you, he's the founder of WikiLeaks or whatever. When WikiLeaks actually leaked this inf information about the Democratic emails uh, the, in, the, in the Democratic Party and their emails uh, back in 2016, uh, the emails that actually showed that they conspired against Bernie Span Sanders to essentially keep him from, from winning, among other things. Uh, check out broadcast number seven because I'll break a couple of those things down. You know what I'm saying? Um, Donald Trump it was praising them back then. I love WikiLeaks or whatever. But now he's saying he knows nothing of WikiLeaks. And it's, it's somewhat telling because it lets you know that they, they probably have malintentions towards Julian Assange. But... Nevertheless, um, it's just more lying just blatantly in front of the people. So he obviously has no respect for you or for this country. New war and graduation. New world order, Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report. Now, I told y'all about over in Sudan, actually. Sudan, Africa. It's actually a, a, a military overthrow, a coup, if you will, um, a dethroning, if you will, of President Omar al Bashir, who was actually, um, you know, military came into his home and actually put him on house arrest and everything. Uh, this is amidst a bunch of civilian protests that's been going on since December. That actually, since December, there's been 50 civilians killed out of protest. Uh, they've been at the Capitol essentially uh, in this past weekend or whatever, like, you know, had a massive sit in and um, was just, they just want a different regime change. Now, what the military did, Sudanese military, is actually they suspended the constitution and imposed like a three year state of emergency and basically said that there's going to be a transitional military council in rule until, you know, otherwise, for, uh, you know, noted. And the, pre the secretary of uh, the defense secretary is actually going to rule, but now the civilians are protesting against that. They want civilian rule. Stay tuned. Green War and graduation. New World Order Bishop Grady Lane. You know what the fuck going on for this BFF report? Now, uh, D Donald Trump has actually tapped the shoulder of Matthew Albans to be the new head of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, uh, also known as ICE, the Immigration Police. Now, the thing about this dude, he actually made headlines last year when he um, at a Senate hearing compared. Yeah. ICE detention centers 
to like summer camp, talking about how there's like, you know, 24 7 food and water, there's educational activities, recreational activities, they even have basketball courts and shit like that. But the reason why that's scary is because the reality is, I mean, there's, there's people literally dying in these detention centers, uh, kids as well as adults. And, um, you know, this is a mix of family separation policy, so they're not together in these detention centers um, in the U.S. And also, there's uh, reports of, like, you know, there being malnutrition, uh, force feeding, and a lot of other heinous shit. Like, let's keep it a buck. Like, this is, he, this, this is crazy. And this is the guy that I think Trump feels is tough enough to enforce his radical immigration policies. Green war and graduation. Stay woke. Report of the new world order, Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report. Now, the Interior Department of the United States is actually supposed to be over protecting federal land and, you know, conserving the, essentially the environment, like, but mostly, like, you know, land that belongs to the government, essentially. Uh, you essentially want to do good. You know, you kind of got, ideally, you would want to be an environmentalist. You would have the environment and the, but, you know, that being the best interest, at your best interest, protecting the environment. Now, uh, recently, uh, the Interior Department Secretary was Ryan Zinsky, who was, like, plagued with, like, scandal and, you know, who, just, just like everybody else in this Trump administration, currently, but um, the Senate has actually confirmed that oil lobbyist David Bernhardt will be the Interior Department Secretary. And um, this is very troubling. I mean, uh, New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez has even come out and said, like, a vote for him is a vote for offshore drilling, essentially. So prepare to ex expect to see, like, just more pollution. You know what I mean? More uh, waters and uh, federal land being opened up to pollution. Green war and graduation. The new world order, Bishop Grady laying on what the fuck going on for this BFM report now. The Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy reported that last year, the number of companies that actually didn't pay any federal taxes despite making billions of dollars, actually doubled. They named over 60 companies that last year didn't pay any federal taxes. And mind you, these companies made billions. We're talking about IBM, we're talking about General Motors, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about Netflix, we're talking about Halliburton, we're talking about, um, it's, 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 it's I, I said over 60, you know what I'm saying? Too many in the name, definitely go look it up. But um, that just goes to show like, uh, especially for you right-wing motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like that, always want to complain about uh, taxes and all of that. But motherfuckers is evading taxes left and right. How can you act like our government needs to make all of these cuts when basic taxes aren't even being paid for by billion-dollar companies? Shoot yourself. Green war and graduate. The new world order, Bishop Grady laying over what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Now, Palestinian human rights activist Omar Barghouti is actually the co-founder of the BDS movement, the Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions movement. This is a movement that's responsible for bringing to light the fact that the United States is, via government, actually siding with Israel and making it illegal to even talk about negatively against about Israel. Now, in doing this um, BDS movement, obviously you make some big enemies. You, you know, you might not make a lot of enemies, but you make big enemies. And that goes for Israeli government as well as U.S. government, especially as a Palestinian man. Well, unfortunately, this man, even though he had, uh, he was scheduled to come and speak at Harvard and uh, other places, uh, like some prominent places or whatever, was actually barred entry from the United States. Now, mind you, this, um, this whole movement of uh, government actually being pro-Israel has seeped into the uh, local governments where you can't even have a company, you can actually get fired for speaking or by boycott Israel, so stay woke man, we will and graduate. The new world order, Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report. Now I'm the fucking disgusted by this shit that's happening in Chicago and um, the nerve of police to be doing this amidst this Jesse Smollett situation I want an apology to him for making their city look bad, but y'all make yourselves look like shit. Now, there's a uh, surveillance footage of the Chicago police that's actually dragging this 16-year-old black girl down a flight of stairs before they beat and tased her. Now, 
this video is uh, not only shocking just by itself, but it also goes against the report that they gave in saying that this student was actually the initiator of violence. This student was actually charged two felony counts. Now with the release of this footage, those charges were dropped, and now her family is suing the city. So I hope they get everything they fucking deserve, man. And honestly, I hope Jesse Smollett is actually all the way right in this scenario, and he and he milked the motherfucker for everything they were to. Green Wall and graduation. We will do the Bishop Grady Lane. You know what the fuck going on for this BFF report? Yo, I think this is so fucking dope. But over at Georgetown, um, a bunch of students actually got a repar slavery reparations fund together, where they vowed to each semester pay twenty-seven dollars and twenty cents. Um to contribute to this fund that they are going to give uh, to uh, slavery survivors. And this at 2720 is actually in honor of the 272 slaves that were actually sold in 1838 at the University of Georgetown. So I think that's fucking awesome. And it also shows that like, we kind of got to be our own reparations deliverers. I mean, just, just like everything, we got to deliver ourselves from any type of pain all the way to any type of paradise that we want to actually end up at because nobody's going to do it for us. And um, this just kind of just shows that. So shout out to all the students there, all the, all the African-Americans, all the pro-blacks, all of the, uh, you know, people that just want to stand for truth, justice, and light, man. Green war and graduation. We will do the Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report now. Uh, over in uh, in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, uh, 31,000 stop and shop workers are actually on strike. So they're not refusing to work because the company itself made $2 billion in profit last year, yet they are asking their workers to accept cuts in health care and in their pension. So it's okay to make $2 billion, but you want us to take less? Like, why don't you share some of that? Your company wouldn't exist without your workers. Well, that's what you get for being greedy. 31,000 motherfuckers on strike. That's a lot of people. Because if you go into any one of the motherfuckers stopping shop, probably only like 20 people there. I've been there where it's even less than that. And it's crowded. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what they get. And, 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 and more greedy motherfuckers need to suffer the same consequences, y'all. Stay woke, man. Green war and graduation.